Yes, man, it really is me. Me, so aka the instant burner, man. And today, YouTube, I'm gonna be giving you guys the best settings on NBA 2K25. These are gonna be the best settings to dribble to shoot, to play defense, all those types of things. Before we get started, it'd be greatly appreciated if you guys get that like. Let's see if we can get to at least 200 likes on the video. And if you're new, also consider subscribing because I'm gonna keep you guys up to date on everything NBA 2K25. But very first thing you guys wanna do when it comes to the settings, you wanna go to your options and you wanna go to your, um, you wanna go to your controller settings. And when you go in here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break this down into what might be good for you we're all different we all need different settings and there's nothing wrong with that very first thing is vibration function a lot of people they just turn this off you see right here i have mine on doesn't really matter i keep mine it doesn't matter because you don't really get too much vibration in this game what i do turn off though is the trigger effects this is only for playstation um and this pretty much means you know like let's say you're getting tired or something like that as you get tired, your triggers on your controller, they'll start to get like hard or be hard to push and stuff like that. And to me, it just gets very annoying. Um, so even though it's a cool effect for the PlayStation, when it comes to 2K, it's just annoying. So I turn mine off personally. Um, the next one is your shot timing profile. This is pretty much how hard do you want the shooting to be? You know, if you have it on high risk, this pretty much means it's gonna be green or miss. If you don't time the shot perfectly um is you're not gonna make the shot you know what i'm saying so i got mine on high risk um if you're not a sweat or play a lot of 2k what i would suggest is either normal risk where you can hit some whites where you don't have to time it right every every time you can put it on normal risk or you can go low risk i wouldn't go anything uh other than those three um don't go real player percentage or difficulty based not good one so really depends on you right here you can't really go wrong if you want to with normal risk reward the next one is layup timing layups are kind of eh, kind of iffy in this game uh in my opinion the only two that you should be going with is either real player percentage this is pretty much no timing required all layups are based off your real players percentage so pretty much if i got an 80 layup you're gonna hit around you know what i'm saying around probably 80 percent of those layups uh so me personally i got this on no on real player you know just so i don't have to time it but to be honest i'm thinking about putting this on low risk just because sometimes i just miss some of these All right matter of fact we're gonna do it right now just because sometimes i just miss some of these open layups that i feel like i shouldn't miss um you'll be able to control a little bit of that if you put it on low risk just like with the shooting um you know you won't have to green everything if you put it on low risk um so it's gonna be very very forgiving when it comes to your timing uh the next one is your free throw timing you can either put it on user timing and real player percentage me personally i'm keeping that on user timing not changing that one shot timing visual cue this right here only matters this is pretty much where you want to release the ball at you see right here we have jump jump is the fastest um you have set point then you have push then you have the slowest release it's pretty much where you want to release the ball on your jump shot if you make a custom jump shot disregard this option right here because you'll be able to go in matter of fact i'll go ahead and show you right now if you make a custom jump shot let me go ahead and go in there just to show you guys um because i'm trying to make this as explanatory as you can um so let me go ahead and go into a jump shot let me just pick this jump shot so if i go into this jump shot you see that the top visual cue that that is what tells you let me go right here this is what tells you where you can release the ball at right here um like i said you really got to tinker around with this it's no good one me personally like to, i like to have mine around push and release um but you just got to tinker around with it play online and find what pretty much what works for you so you can really disregard this option in here if you are making a custom jump shot if you're not making a custom jump shot using like an nba player jump shot then you would have to go with this one right here and just you know figure it out uh the next one is your shot meter input this one right here we're gonna go into the uh the, the, the hud settings later but this is pretty much a hud setting what do you want your meter to be on you know what i'm saying you go do you want it to be on shot button only do you want it to be on pro stick or do you want it to be on everything if you want this to be off you have to change it in the custom hud later um so i have my meter off but i had to change it in the custom hud so i wouldn't have to worry about this setting like i said i'm going to show you guys later what that is okay the next one is your pro stick function whenever you see pro stick on here it pretty much means your right stick pro stick is your right stick 
and pretty much what your pro stick function is what do i want my pro stick to be on do i want it to be on default if it's on default that means you can you can shoot with your right stick a lot of people are using a new feature called the rhythm shooter where you flick the, the stick down then up and it gives you a bigger green window if you want to use that option you have to have this on either default or shots and with default you know you can use the stick to lay the ball up you can use the stick to dribble all those type of things um if you want it on drill moves you will only be able to dribble with your with your right stick uh and if you got on shots of course you'll only be able to shoot um me personally i keep mine on default i do have a friend who was a very great he's a great shooter man he told me he said yo i'm a spot up he's a corner sitter you know he's a he's a role player on the game which is nothing wrong with um but he was like yo I can shoot better with my right stick if I just keep this right here on shots. So he doesn't dribble, he doesn't have any dribbling on his build, so he just has his on shots. So it's really a personal preference, but since I am a guard, I have to have this on default, and I like to control my dunks, my layups, and sometimes I like to rhythm shoot just a little bit when I practice. So I have mine on default, but it really just depends on you. The next one is your pro stick orientation, and, it, and you have two options. You have camera relative, and you have absolute. Absolute pretty much means wherever you are on the court, up is up, right is right, left is left, doesn't matter where you are on the court. If you put this on camera relative right here, it means depending on where you are on the court, like your right stick is gonna be a little different. So let's say I'm dribbling. If I'm dribbling and I'm on the right side of the court, let's say I wanna do a crossover, which is to the left, just straight over to the left. If I have this on absolute, it's just gonna be left on the right stick. If I have this on camera relative, it's really gonna depend on where I am on the court. If I'm up the court a little bit, it's, it might be diagonal to the left down. You know what I'm saying? It just gets kind of confusing if you have it on camera relative. So just a rule of thumb, man, absolute is what I would go with with this right here. Just so you, just so you can keep it simple. You know, if you wanna have your hand up on defense, it's just up, you know what I'm saying? So you don't have to really get confused and be like, yo, why is my player not doing what I'm telling him to do? Just keep it on absolute. Off ball, offense mode, same thing, man. You can put it on, it doesn't really matter with this one pretty much, man. Absolute or camera relative is damn near the same. Um, double team reaction, this is pretty much my career type stuff. Help defense, this is my career stop type stuff, you know. Um, Call for a pick and roll versus fade. This is manual. I pick mine on manual. You can't put it on audio, but you want to be able to call your own PNRs in my career and stuff like that. So I'll just keep this on manual. Player icons. You want to always keep your player icons on. This is pretty much when like you want to be able to see your icons when like you're doing things like let's say you're switching the matchup on defense to get somebody the arrow. Let's say that you want to like pass to a certain person. You want to keep your player icons always on. Um, skip pass you want to also keep this enabled and pretty much what skip pass is uh, let's say you don't want to make the pass right next to you but you want to make a skip pass to the person in the corner um, if, you, if you hold if you hold the pass button in it'll automatically skip pass it which is pretty dope so you want to keep this on pro stick pass type which means choose the type of pass you get when you're using the pro stick passing you always want to keep this on normal you don't want to because you can pass with the right stick. I know some of you guys don't, might not know that, but you can pass with the right stick. Um, and you don't want to be having flashy passes, but getting turnovers because we all know the lanes are kind of crazy right now. You want to, you don't want to have any wasted movement. So you want to just keep this on normal right there. Um, icon passes. Uh, how do you, how do you want it? Do you want it on default? When pass the icons, you will immediately throw the pass. Do you want a full receiver mode? When pass, you will temporarily control the receiver. No, that's pretty much like this is my career type stuff. So you pretty much just keep that on default. Just keep that on default. Same thing with this receiver control. Just keep it on what it is, man. Just keep it on receivers, gets open. Um, hold for a lot pass, skip pass, cut to the basket. Again, this is my career type of stuff. You can make it for the skip pass or you can make it to cut to the basket. Me personally, I'm just gonna keep this on skip pass. And the next one is passive dribble hand switches. This pretty much means um, let's say you're like dribbling and you stop dribbling. If you have it on passive, if you have this on enabled, like your 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 player will like he'll switch hands automatically with the ball in his hands. And I would keep this dis disabled just for the simple fact, man. If you're trying to combo up, you don't want your player automatically changing the ball over to this hand to that hand without you even flicking a stick to that direction. It'll just mess up your combo. So me, I turned this off to disable because I think it starts with 
starts on as enabled. Um, the next one is your pro stick. Pro stick defense, to be honest, doesn't really matter. Actually, let me go ahead and change this option. I want mine on absolute. Uh, pretty much means, cause you know, on this game, if you want to have your hands up, you can either flick, you can hold the stick up or you can hold it down. Again, with absolute, it's gonna be the same anywhere on the court. If you have this on camera relative on the left side of the court, it might be diagonal to the left, to the right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and change this uh, actually to absolute right here. Uh, so we're gonna, so we're gonna do that right there. Shading indicator, just the shader under your player um, to show how you're playing defense on somebody. Um, not a big, big deal. The next one is who to guard. Personal preference. I know a lot of people that turn this off because they feel like they don't get drug as much uh, when they're switching on defense. And, and stuff like that. So you really, pretty much you can go with this on or off. Me personally, I just keep mine on just so I know who I'm guarding. I know how to switch the arrows very, very quick. If you guys don't know how to switch who to guard on this game, pretty much what you do, you press R1 or you press RB on Xbox. Then you press the, when your icons come up, you press the icon of the player that you're guarding right now. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a point guard and you wanna guard the two guard, what you're gonna do, you're gonna press R1, then you're gonna press circle and you would switch the arrow to your to the two guard. You know what I'm saying? You'll be guarding him. Same thing on the inbounds. Some people switch on the inbounds real quick. That's how they do it. Um, so that's how you do that with the Huda guard. The next one is your box out strength. Actually, we're gonna change this right here. I'm glad I'm making this video for you guys because I'm also changing a couple of these things too. Um, box out strength is pretty much how much how much assist do you want when you're trying to box out a player? If you're a guard, I wouldn't see you putting this on anything. You need to have, I feel like this should be pretty high, around like 70 to 100, because sometimes you need that box out. You need all the help you can get, especially when you don't have box out, you know what I'm saying, box out beast or something like that. If you are a big man, you pretty much got to play around with this right here, because it's sometimes when you don't want to box out a certain person, and you don't want the game to make you box that person out. Sometimes you just want to jump or something like that. So you have to really play around with this if you are a big man. But this is my point guard right here. So we're gonna, so we're gonna go pretty, we're just gonna go pretty high. We're gonna go with 100 right there. The next one is your pass target profile. This is pretty much how do you want to pass on this game? Do you want it to be default? And I would suggest that you guys try pretty much icon everything, in my opinion, man. If you icon, if you icon everything, bro, you won't have to worry about 2K messing you up, being you being you being like, bro, I wanted to pass to this person, not this person. So my rule of thumb is the icon. If you just can't icon, bro, what I would do, me personally, I like to try to have the stick put the stick in a certain direction then press x so me i'm more of a direction type of person some people are more of a openness type of person as you see in this clip right here you see right here i didn't have time to really icon pass i needed to touch past that so what i did i held my stick to that direction to where he was then i passed the ball and it threw it right to him so in my opinion me personally bro i'm more of a direction type of person right here Oh, I went all the way out. I'm sorry. You too. Let me go back in here. <laughs> went all the way out. So I'm over duration. Then what I did, what you can pretty much do, you can pretty much just figure out how you want to do it. You don't have to pick one of those if you don't want to. You can go with, it's going to be custom if you change it. So you can cust, you can customize it. Just depends on what you like. You know what I'm saying? You don't like the really icon. You're, you're new to the game. You want 2K to pretty much figure out who to pass the ball to. You can just put this up. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't put it too crazy. Um, because you don't want to miss out with a person being right beside you and you end up in 2K thinks somebody else is open. So I, I wouldn't put it too, too crazy to 100 right here. But like I said, I'm more of a pass duration type of person. So me, I'm going like this. I'm going, I'm going something like this, me personally. Just play around with it, to be honest. But that's it for that. Now let me go ahead and show y'all the custom HUD. Like I, like I was telling y'all guys early, to get to the custom HUD, what you want to go to, you want to go to my player, then you want to go to your animations. Um, then once you get in here again, guys, I might just hit them likes for me, really appreciate it. You want to go to your custom HUD right here. And with this right here, it's gonna, this is gonna allow you to pick, you know what I'm saying, your green, you know, you got all your greens right here, whatever you whatever you like. Um, you know, I like that flame burn up, you know what I'm saying, the burner. Your visibility, you can make it so for all shots, you can make it so you only see it, or you can make it so, look, nobody sees your green. Pretty much personal preference. Then you can put it wherever you want it. Most people put it by the rim. Me personally, I like it by the head, just for clips. Then you can put your, when you hear that hawk screaming, you know I'm greening. So I always keep that hawk, man. 
I'm a big Atlanta Hawks type of guy, so I always keep the Hawk screaming. Um, the next one is your player indicator. It just depends on what you like. I don't like too, too crazy. So me personally, bro, I just go with the circle. You know, they got all kinds of things that you guys like. Pretty cool things in here too. Well, I'm, a, I'm a pretty basic type of guy. Um, your shot meter, this is where you can, you can pick your shot meter. Like I was telling y'all earlier, me, I like my shot meter off. So you see right here, visibility for shots, all mine is off. So I'm not gonna see no shot meter when I play online. But I do have my layups on. You know, I just changed my layup timing like y'all seen. So I'm gonna need, I feel like my layups, my layup uh, meter on to be able to try to time some of those. My feet throw, I also have my meter on because I don't know my feet throw. I'm not really a rec player like that. And you have a couple options when it comes to your meter. Um, you can either have it on ring, dial. I have arrow in my opinion seems like the best one that we have right now. Um, I don't really like any of them really, but that's the best one we have. Um, then you can pick the color. I like the you. I like purple on mine just so I can see it better. Uh, let me go ahead. And, can I show y'all? Will it pop up? Yeah. Let me go ahead and show y'all so y'all can see how it looks. Okay. So that looks like that. Me, I like mine on large. You know, it's still kind of small in my opinion. You know, it might be my old eyes. But you can make it small, medium, and you can make it small. Small is too small. That's kind of crazy. But I like I like mine large right here. So we're going to go with that. Like I said, I like mine purple. I just feel like purple. Purple or yellow? Yellow is a good. I might actually change that. Yeah, purple or yellow seems like the best colors. Green's solid too. But it seems like they just show up the best in my opinion. White, nah. Orange, nah. Yeah, purple or purple or yellow, I'm thinking. I might, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the yellow size large. And I like mine to the side. You can pick to the side. You can make it by your head, as you see right here. You can make it by your feet. Just depends on what you like. Um, I'm gonna pick mine by the side again, right there. Um, then what you got, Terra Meeba icons. You don't really need all this. The next one is your shot feedback. Um, I like to have my shot feedback on everything just so I can see if I'm pressured. You know, and stuff like that. You can make it so it's only feet throws, so it's only you. Uh, you can you can make sure it's off, or you can put simple. You see simple, that's simple right there. I don't really like simple, you know, so I wanna see the coverage of things. So me, I keep mine on all shots. I like to see the distance right here um, of the shot that I just took. The timing of the shot, is it slightly early, slightly late? Uh, so in my opinion, I'm keeping that on. Your feet throw chance, I always have, also have that on, and the coverage, like I said. So I like to have that on. Let me go ahead and turn my shot meter back off Let me, before I forget. Go up out of here. Um, uh, next is your HUD visibility. Just on. I would always have this on. The panel on. The takeover panel on. Just have all that on. Um, and that's pretty much that's pretty much it right here. This is just the play notification, sub notifications. I would just keep all this on. Um, then you have your ball trails. I'm not I'm not a big ball trail type of person. I feel like the frames kind of mess up when you have the ball on. Um, so that's pretty much it for everything. I hope this made the game easier. I hope this gave y'all a better understanding of the controller settings. Again, if you guys could, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could hit that like, subscribe if you're new, and make sure if you are subscribed to hit that bell and make sure that it's on own so you never miss a video from the burn and y'all already know who it is burn up oh.